Oh, snap. What's going on? Hopefully everything should be all set. I don't know. I think we're live at the moment as well. Uh, so you guys will have to let me know. Um, I should be able to see chat, too, if you guys type in chat. I should be able to see you guys typing. Uh, let's see if I can pull this up. Give me one moment. Here we go. We already got some people in here. Hello. There we go. Okay. Let's hang out for a bit. Maybe some people will hop in. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but uh, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Uh, Teo, uh, Focus, uh, Mauricio. What's going on? Seiya, Pegasus. Hello, hello. Hope you guys are doing good today. Logan, what's up, Logan? How you doing, my dude? How are you guys doing? Let me get things situated so I know what I'm doing. Um, so we got this here. What's this here? Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. My end voice call. All right. I left. I left Logan. What's up? Uh, Le Leo Leotrix TCG. Yo, what's going on, my dude? How are you doing today? Uh, yeah, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you get better luck than Azul. Did Azul get pretty tough luck today? That's tough. Um, I mean, Azul. It's probably not a big issue for Azul though, right? Honestly, because. You know, I think he just gets so much free stuff sent to him, like, every day anyway on stream. Um, you know, he'll be fine. He also wins, like, a tournament every other day, so I'm sure he'll get plenty of free Chilling Rains packs in the next few weeks, uh, if I had to guess. Um, also, guys, let me know how my audio is. Hopefully my audio is good. Uh, hopefully it sounds good and everything. Just want to make sure. Just want to double check. We're just going to hang out for a bit. <clears throat> uh, I opening the game to get some Poke Points and you, bro. Uh, hey, say I'm just uh, I'm just chilling, man. It's uh, it's release day today on PTCGO, um, and uh, we're gonna crack into a bunch of Chilling Rains packs. Now, to be honest with you guys, well, you know I'm just gonna be 100% honest. We have opened about 200 uh, Chilling Rains already. I didn't want to make the video super super long, uh, but we've kind of cracked a lot of packs so far. We've seen a lot of good stuff. Uh, let's see if I can filter this by V Pokemon, so we can go ahead and, and take a look at the polls. Um, and I'll show you guys what we've gotten so far. Uh, we're going to be opening 300 more today on stream. We're going to try to go a little bit quick, and we're just going to be hanging out, having a good time. But uh, this is what we pulled so far. So we got two Celebi Vs. We've got uh, Blaze, one Blaziken V and VMAX. Excuse me. Two Volcanion Vs. Uh, we have uh, two three Ice Rider, uh, three three Ice Rider V uh, and VMAX lineup right now. Um. So, uh, Reyna, what's going on? Hey, Reyna, thanks for tuning in. Uh, so that's our Ice Rider. We have a 3-3. We're hoping to pull a couple more of those. We have five Zorora. We have six Articuno Vs. And then we do have a 4-3 Shadow Rider lineup. Shadow Rider lineup. So it would be nice to pull a fourth Shadow Rider, Calyrex VMAX. Uh, we got one Zapdos there, regular art. Four Sandacondas. Three Moltres. Uh, four Slowking Vs. Three Lipard Vs. We have a 2-2 Metagross lineup uh, already. Three Blissey. We have a 4-2 Tornadus lineup. And then we have some full arts as well, which I have, uh, haven't have really done much with yet. Uh, so we got Volcanion, Rapidash, Zapdos, Metagross, uh, Blissey, and then a couple Rainbow Rares. So we actually do have uh, Blaziken, Metagross, and Tornadus VMAX uh, Rainbow Rares. But uh, yeah, those are the uh, the pulls that we've gotten so far. Uh, and uh, we're going to hopefully hopefully get some more as well as uh, as we go on. Uh, today, or I mean, we're going to open 300 more, so I hope that we pull some more. Uh, Rana says, I uh, wish I could get some, lol. Zorora and Articuno is good. Yeah, for sure, Saya. 100%. Um, yeah, guys, let me know how the audio quality is. Hopefully the audio is good. I don't know. I don't know how I sound. I, I hope, hopefully I just, I sound fine. It's a little bit hard for me to, to, to check uh, or to confirm that, so... Um. All right. Well, we got about 25 people watching already. So I think I'm, you know, I think we just get right into it. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I think we're just going to get into it. We're going to open some packs. 
and uh, we got 300 to open, so uh, we're going to go pretty quick. Um, I am also recording this, so it'll be like on the YouTube as a video, so people can kind of play that back and watch this whenever, but um, yeah, so here we go. We're just going to open some Chillin' Rains. I'm not going to talk too much about the cards, because again, uh, we have all week to be making videos on all of the different uh, cards and all the new decks that are coming um, in this, uh, or that are, you know, that are in this new set, so I'm really excited. I got a lot of things planned out. Um, I'm trying to get, you know, get a play set of all of the new cards so we can go ahead. Uh, this is my first Rillaboom, actually. I, I haven't even, that's the first one I pulled. But yeah, I'm trying to get all the new cards, uh, play sets, so that I can hopefully, uh, you know, make videos on all the new decks and whatnot. So that is my goal at the very moment. Uh, Serena? All right. We got to go a little bit quicker. We definitely need to go a bit quicker. I'm trying to get this done within the hour. Shouldn't be too hard, really, at all, but... I just got to make sure that I'm I'm consistently opening packs. Uh, so I'm just going to open them, uh, and then I'll just be, you know, discussing with chat. So you guys can go ahead and talk about whatever, ask me whatever. Um, really, you know, uh, just let me have it. Uh, if we get a good pull, we'll acknowledge the good pull. But until then, uh, we're just going to be absolutely tearing through these. Uh, yeah. So what's, I mean... There's a lot of really cool archetypes in this set. I mean, a lot of people think Shadow Rider is going to be probably the best deck, and I, and I don't disagree with that. I think Shadow Rider is going to be very, very good. Uh, Cali Rex V Max, uh, Shadow Rider. But uh, there's our fourth Bliss EV. Um, I don't know. I don't, see, I don't know exactly what it's going to be. Vaughn. What's going on, Vaughn? Vaughn, is your last name actually Ocean? I, I've always wondered that. Um, and I, you, I've probably asked you that before, but um, yeah, I'm curious. But Vaughn, you're you're an absolute savage. I mean, personally, the decks that I want to play the most are the ones that you know, never tend to be super good. Uh, Metagross seems super fun to me. Do you have a good Tornadus VMAX deck, says Reyna? Um, I think the best way to play Tornadus, to be honest with you, is with um, is you just use Houndoom. So it's it's you play it like a single strike Urshu VMAX deck, sort of, uh, where you run Houndoom and you accelerate the 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 single strike energies. But the good thing about Tornadus is you can actually stack on. Uh, the powerful color, uh, color, colorless energies, uh, which add 20 damage as well when you attach them. So uh, that deck's really all about accelerating special energies to, to tornado, uh, Tornadus and uh, just doing big damage. Um, so uh, will the packs be able to get? Uh, will the packs be able to get in the event tournament? I think is what Teo was saying. Uh, Vaughn, your middle name is Ocean. That's actually a sweet uh, middle name, um, Teo. So chill series next week. So it's Thursday today. On Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, Chill Series number 36 is uh, the number of Chill Series <laughs> that's coming up this week. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so that's our fifth Shadow Rider Calyrex V. Um, we might have to do something soon uh, to channel members to do a giveaway, which we're definitely going to do. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, so Chill Series on Wednesday. Uh, it's going to be free entry and then 250 Chilling Rains packs uh, on the prize, you know, in the prize pool. So uh, definitely going to be pretty good. I uh, can't believe Cinderace won the Chill Series. Hey, man, Cinderace is a good deck. I don't think people really gave it enough credit, uh, to be 100% honest with you. Um, and also, it was one of those things where it's the last tournament of, of the format, kind of, of Team Up through Battle Styles. So people kind of just dropped all of their typical things. And, and the format finale tournaments that we do, typically once per season, uh, are oftentimes my favorite tournaments, in a, in a sense, because people don't really follow the current, like, the normal standard meta. Uh, and they try different things. They kind of just branch out. Uh, because at that point, it doesn't really matter. The next tournament is going to be a completely new format. So uh, I think Cinderace was good. I, I think Cinderace is good. And I, and I don't know, um, you know, I I think that it, it doesn't get enough credit. I mean, realistically, that, that deck is just a welder box deck. Uh, but Cinderace inherently is a pretty good card. So I think a deck like that could win any tournament. It's just not a deck that people are going to inherently play all the time, I think. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so... Shout out to you, Reyna. I don't know. I think there's also... I'm trying to think of Tornadus. I don't know. Um, I, I know there was a couple lists that I was bouncing back and forth between. I just forget the actual specifics. Um, I think that it, it might be running um, Memory Capsule. If I No, that's the that's Slowking. Yeah, I don't know exactly. Oh, baby. Let's go. That's our fourth. That is our fourth one. So that's great. Um, I think that we still need one more Ice Rider Calyrex V. Uh, but it's very good to have the four lineup of VMAXs at this point. Mad Party is a good deck, I think. Say, so, Yeah, Mad Party is very, very good. Um, typically, Mad Party gets gatekeeped by things like ADP, um, Eternatus, 
Uh, but it does very well against things that kind of became popular in the last couple of weeks um, or, you know, were popular yet again. Things like Picaram. Uh, Victini struggled really bad with Mad Party as well somehow. Um, and uh, Mad, Mad Party is kind of like a meta call deck. It really is. Because um, it is, I think, our best uh, pure single prize uh, card archetype deck in our format, uh, realistically. So, like, it's always a good meta call depending on what decks uh, see a lot of play. Um, you know what I mean? Fish Nugget CR, did I buy all these packs? No. Uh, so that's something I probably should mention. The sponsor up here in the top, uh, PTCGO Zone. Uh, they're the sponsor of Chill Series and Chill TCG. So they're the ones that help supply the packs. Uh, we also kind of got a lot of support from the Pokemon Company International directly. Uh, so they sent a lot of packs to me as well, um, as well as just community donations. I had a lot of people uh, donate Quick Balls to me recently. Uh, there's our fifth Tordanus V. Uh, we had a lot of people donate like some gold Quick Balls to us recently. Um, and uh, I did kind of liquidate them, uh, some of those into uh, Chilling Rain's packs as well. So, no, I didn't buy them all. Uh, I did not. <laughs> but uh, uh, I probably, I mean, it depends. Like, if I don't pull everything that we need to, because in total it's about five, I've opened about five to 600 packs. If I don't get everything I need to out of all of those packs, ooh, our first Celebi VMAX. Man, I don't think I've, uh, I totally forgot about Celebi VMAX. Uh, Curative Forest. Heal 20 damage from each of your grass type Pokemon, 130. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand. And shuffle your deck. This could be a very good, um, you know, there's, there's this, 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 this card could work. Like that's definitely a deck that could see some success. I just don't know exactly. It kind of gives me Tokikus vibes in a sense, where you attack for a low amount of damage, but then you also kind of have a really powerful effect to it. Um, uh, Reina is Spiritomb and Tornadus good. Um, Spiritomb meaning the the new one from. Um, Oh, Blaziken. This is good. We need Blazikens for the Zorora uh, Blaziken deck. Uh, Spirit Tomb meaning the new Spirit Tomb, if that's what you're if that's what you're curious or asking about. I think the new Spirit Tomb. See, the thing is, with Mad, Mad Party is a good deck. We were just talking about it, but um, Spirit Tomb is just a direct counter, so if there's any, if there's a deck that does struggle with Mad Party or Mad Party, um, you know, becomes really popular, then we can just, you can always just toss one of the, that new Spirit Tomb uh, in your deck, and you're just pretty much just going to, just, you know, you're just going to win. Yeah. Uh, anything good so far just arrived? Yeah, we pulled a Shadow Rider uh, V, Ice Rider V Max. We've pulled some stuff. I honestly totally forget. I should kind of keep, like, a tally, but, um, you know, we're, we're going to have to go in pretty quickly. We still have more than 250 left. But, uh, Liang, yeah, yeah. We've, we've pulled some good stuff for sure. Yeah, this is the Spirit Tomb you're talking about, Reyna. Uh, this card just auto beats Mad Party, so for every Pokemon in their discard pile, you can place one damage counter onto any of their Pokemon any way that you would like. And then after you do that, all of those Pokemon get shuffled back into their deck. So not only uh, are you able to spread a lot of damage, Mad Party sometimes can get 15 or plus Pokemon in their discard pile. Uh, so that's like three KOs off just damage counters placed, uh, which is three prize cards. And at the same time, all those Pokemon get put back into their deck, so now they, they, they don't, they're not doing any more damage. Uh, with their Mad Party attack. So this card was literally built to beat Mad Party in my eyes. Um, and it's uh, absolutely insane. Sir Koopa. Excited to play with these new cards. Look like it's going to be a fun format. Uh, I think Chilling Rain, Team Up Through Chilling Rains is going to be a pretty fun format. But I'm, I'm most excited for uh, Rotation. So after Rotation. But I, I do think that this format will be pretty fun. Um, I think that there's going to be that initial sort of surge of creativity. Where people are kind of, there we go. That's what we needed, actually. So now we have the full 4-4 playset of Ice Rider Calyrex, which is awesome. Uh, I think there's going to be that initial uh, surge where everybody's playing the new decks. They're trying new stuff. Everything's really creative. And then people are going to kind of fall back into that um, into that lull where everyone's going to be playing the same kind of older um, five of these bad boys. It's playing kind of the same older uh, tag team Sun and Moon era archetypes that are proven to be really, really good. I think ADP, uh, with this guy right here, Echoing Horn, this card makes ADP uh, perhaps, yet again, the best deck in the format. Uh, but things like Picaram are still going to be really good. Uh, you know, Welder decks, Reshizard, Mewtwo especially. Like, all those decks are still going to be super relevant. And uh, I don't expect them to go anywhere anytime soon. So they might not see, like, a, a, a ton of play in the first, uh, you know, month or so. Of, of this new format, but eventually, you know, people are going to kind of fall back into that, uh, you know, into that vibe. Rohan, no. 
Rohan, my dude, it's okay. We still have 250 packs left to go. There we go. Our third Blaziken V. We are trying to get a full play set of those. Um, right when I come, Ice Rider. That's what's up, my dude. That's what's up, Rohan. You're our good luck charm. If I'm not pronouncing your name correctly, I apologize as well. It's just, is it just Rowan? Or is it Rowan? Rohan? I don't know, man. But yeah, shout out to Reyna. Shout out to Rowan, Sir Koopa, Liang. Fish Nugget CR. <laughs> Fish Nugget CR. I love that name too. But yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. Again, it's just going to be a chill opening. Um, you know, I had to open all these packs. Ooh, okay, so this is actually this is actually our second Rainbow Rare Kalara, which is really funny. These are giveaway cards because Rainbow Rares, people typically kind of like them. Um, and I don't really keep them too much. So that's a giveaway card. Any big changes Chilling Rinse will bring to Victini deck lists? Um, not that I can really think of, to be 100% honest. I think that the, the Victini archetype doesn't really change too, too much. Um, off the top of my head, I'm just, I'm just thinking. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I really don't, I don't think so. Um, I could be missing something. Um, maybe, I don't know. Victini seem to struggle a lot with Mad Party, so maybe you just, maybe, maybe if, you know, if that becomes a, a thing, then we can kind of tech one of those Spirit Tombs into the deck, the new Spirit Tombs. Um, but I don't, yeah, I don't know exactly. Cause I, I feel like Victini, Oh, there's a Zapdos V God, can't have enough of those bad boys. First time was correct. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I really don't. If I, I don't think Victini really struggles with any of the newer archetypes that are coming out in the format. Um, if Ice Rider does become pretty relevant, then Victini, um, you know, just, just might have a bit of a struggle. Okay. Now we're just stacking them on top. Now we have five Ice Rider V maxes. That is insane. Uh, I need the other VMAXs. One thing I haven't pulled a single one of is Sandaconda VMAX, which is my favorite VMAX from the set. So I, I would really like to pull some Sandacondas. Um, anyway, Giovanni. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't think that the deck list changes too much. I think that it might, uh, the matchup spread might change. So you might be, you know, depending on how the format changes, we might be changing the deck a little bit. But there's nothing that's coming out that's going to be like super crazy uh, with Victini. Although we could run Path to the Peak, although we're probably running giant hearth in the deck but path to the peak is something you can put in a lot of decks and and technically victini is one of them uh urshifu dropped to four packs oh no well is that that's four chilling rains packs though right which isn't that bad because chilling rains packs are super expensive right now how many packs will wel uh, welcoming lantern cost secret rare i don't know i actually have a gold one of these as well uh, just to let you know so yeah this card right here i it's i don't know put a single strike supporter card from your discard pile into your hand i don't think it's going to be a super playable card realistically uh, so it's going to be probably one of those uh cheaper secret rare uh trainer cards so i don't know i really don't know uh the price will have to settle but boom there we go that's a full play set of galarian moltres v uh now the alternate art for this card is actually my favorite alternate art i think in the entire uh, set but uh we don't really need we're just looking for cards that we can play with so normal art is fine um matthias uh, i'm a new player and i just completed adp deck i uh, didn't lose a lot of value in packs after chilling rains uh update no i mean i don't think adp is going to lose value until it rotates um if anything adp got better i think after this in this new format so um i think that uh investing in adp building adp right now is very very smart but uh, if you're building ADP, I do suggest that you 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 go out and you find some of those uh, Echoing Horn or Billowing Horn, Echoing Horn, uh, whatever that tr new trainer card is, uh, is incredibly good. This Passimian as well. Um, so I'm actually really, really excited uh, to run this Passimian um, in things like Sandaconda. It's going to be really, really fun. Uh, it increases the bench damage done to V and, v v and, and GX Pokemon by 30. And there's a lot of really, really good scenarios where this uh, could occur. Uh, this is also going to be really good in Urshifu. So, again, it's just a plus 30 to the bench. You do perhaps, uh, you know, with you have things like Dojo, Zigzagoon. Um, and now we have uh, Passimian, you know. So now we could be hitting the bench for an incredibly uh, high amount of damage, 150 uh, or maybe even a little bit more if we're running things like Telescopic Sight. So Passimian's a really, really good card. I expect this card to see a whole lot of play. Um, and I'm a spread deck guy. I play decks that, that are spread decks. I love I love Beetle. I love Sandaconda, um, and, I, and I love things like Dragapult uh, as well. Um, Tornadus V. There we go. We have six of these bad boys. Yeah, so this is the eight card that I was... Yeah, Echoing Horn. Yeah, this guy right here. Put a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile onto their bench. This card might actually break the game. We'll have to see, to be honest with you. 
Uh, it sounds absolutely insane. It really does. Um, because with ADP, if you can if you can get your GX attack off, you're just two KOs away. Um, and a lot of times, uh, you know, your opponent um, may might just know that, so maybe they'll bench like one Dedenne or one Crobat throughout the game. Uh, so if you KO that, they don't even need to play another one. We can just bring it back up on their bench and just KO it again. So that card is insane. It's going to make ADP that much better, I think. Uh, Passimian is a support for Urshifu. Yeah, it is. It is for sure. Uh, it also goes well with Sandaconda. I know that no one talks about Sandaconda VMAX. Uh, but I do think that Santa Conda uh, will be really good, especially after rotation. I think people, a lot of people are playing Mew still. There's our fifth Ice Rider V. A lot of people are playing Mew, Bench Barrier Mew, so spread decks are never going to be too super relevant, especially since Urshifu is so good. Um, but I, I do think that after rotation, when Mew rotates, I think that Santa Conda is going to be really viable. Um, my fave alternate art is Ice Rider Calyrex V with the Deerling um, Rohan. Yeah, I, I do like that one a lot. I really do. Um, I think uh, my favorite is probably that that Moltres, the alternate art Moltres. It's it's just so cool because it's like a it's like a mural, pretty much. Uh, but I also really do like um, I like Zapdos. Uh, but yeah, the Ice Rider actually might be one of my favorites as well. That one is super good. I just I really like the brightness of it. That's one of my favorites. Uh, all right, let's see. This Angus is pretty cool as well. Yeah, so this is the one where it matches up with the. It's a Viper art, and they're technically fighting each other. If you put the two cards like next to each other, uh, that the arts kind of combine, which is which is pretty cool. Oh, Santa Conda isn't Rapid Strike, so the Basimian won't work. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Uh, it's disappointing. I forgot about that. It would be way better though if it was. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, so we have five Intellions. This one is a really good card as well. I mean, every turn being able to put plus two damage counters on is a really really strong ability. So. Uh, I expect to see that. Um, I think it's it'll see play maybe as like a one of um, to finish off the evolution line in. Uh, ooh, here we go, fifth Cresselia in uh, in you know shady dealings in Talion decks decks that utilize that kind of mechanic. Um, and that's kind of how I kind of might plan to play Ice Rider as well. We'll have to see. Um, talking of spread decks, uh, I just bought an alternate art on PTCGO. It cost me thirty six Battle Tiles packs. I do think I lost my pack value there. Depends on what uh. Depends on what alternate art you bought. Uh, Gian Franco. Yeah, it depends on like what alternate art card you bought. Um, again, I don't know too much about the prices. Here's a full art Seabold. Very cool. Um, why is he in the kitchen? Oh, is he like a chef? Is that what he is? I didn't know that. That's a very cool full art. It looks very um anime though. You know, like it's like it. It looks like they took that directly out of the show, like TV show. Should I play Zapdos V in Tornado in Tornado's V Max? Um, I think that that's not a bad idea. I think that honestly, if if you can fit one Zapdos into your deck, uh, it's always going to be worth doing. Uh, definitely, if you're if you're stri if you if you struggle with Eternatus, um, or if Eternatus is a popular deck, right? Like in the format, uh, which I, I do expect it to be. I think that uh, Zapdos can go well in a lot of in a lot of decks, uh, for sure. Uh, no one loses value. It's just that the new pack values are so high. Uh, three and a half battle styles is around one chilling rain, so it's all right. Uh, sorry, I bought Urshifu V Max. Yeah, so I mean that sounds probably fine to me. Thirty six battle styles uh, for alternate art Urshifu V Max. I think that's pretty normal. Um, is the secret rare fighting energy? Yeah, so there's a secret rare fighting energy, psychic energy, and water energy, which is to me uh, really, really, really cool. I actually was lucky enough to pull a secret rare water and I believe a fighting. Uh, so I have those in game. I just have one of each, uh, but they look fantastic in the game. They look absolutely fantastic. Um, Chill TCG and Corolla meet up in a few days. That's right, man. I'm actually moving to Connecticut in a few days, and my man Corolla happens to be down there. Lucas, what's up, Lucas? How are you, man? How are you doing, bro? It's nice to see you in here. Uh, this Weavile is cool. Two hit KO. I, I hope that there might be a cool archetype with this, but it, it just doesn't seem. Uh, that possible uh yeah lucas man shout out to lucas guys uh lucas is a great player um absolute stud in chill series tournaments uh another galarian moltres man we st <laughs> we need to go quicker i think uh hey i don't know much about chill series can i join with expanded deck um so uh teo uh chill series is a standard format tournament uh we run it every wednesday at 6 p.m eastern time uh but yeah it is a standard format tournament um and uh, I know that that's 
you know, uh, it's hard to kind of build standard format decks if you don't have a lot of the newer cards. Uh, but to me, the standard format is the the true format for Pokemon TCG. So, um, yeah, I mean, you can't you cannot play with expanded, unfortunately. But there are a bunch of other uh, you know old formats or, or expanded format tournaments on the Limitless website as well. If you wanted to go and play, they they're not going to be as big, or the you know, they might not be free, or the prizing might not be um, as big in those tournaments. But there are expanded tournaments. Uh, not that bad. A good spot in my Atlas game right now. Nice. Never topped eight, and I made one top 16. Oh, at Chill Series. Yeah, but but you're always... I don't know. I feel like I always see you like around in like top 32, top 16s. Like day two, like phase twos at least. You're up there, man. You know? Give yourself some credit. Uh, I don't have much money to standard. Yeah, man. I, it's, I know. It's tough. Um, I recommend building ADP. It's actually super affordable. Uh, this is a very cool B drill. If your opponent's active Pokemon has any special energies onto attached to it, it's knocked out. What? Hello? What? Wait, what? For one energy? It's a stage two, but like still, what's the other one? Sorry, not you, Porygon. Discarding energy from this Pokemon, bro. This this card is busted, dude. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, Maddie will actually hide from Corolla. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if he's uh, cooking any well done steak. I might have to get away from that. Uh, okay. Uh, Corellus is opposite around, so Corellus is going to hide from me. Uh, we got the playset of Lipard Vs, which is cool. You guys are ridiculous. You guys are absolutely ridiculous. All right. How many of these do we have? So we have five Rapid Strike Urshifu Vs, or Urshifu, not Vs. Just the single uh, single prize variants. I actually like that, though. I like how they, they printed the single prize versions of them. Uh, they're actually both fairly good for being for being stage one single prize Pokemon as well. Uh, I mean, I make a bit of phase twos. Um, I would have maybe yesterday, but Corolla Lucifer made me play Cowboy with him. <laughs> yeah, never listen to Corolla when he suggests a deck. That's the one thing I, I got to let you know. Um, you know, I love Corolla, but he, there's no way he's... Uh, no, there's no way I'm playing a Corolla deck to a tournament. Three of these bad boys. I also have the uh, the full art version of it too. Uh, I try to test new decks and lose a lot of packs in the transition between decks, but um, um, but I'm in player and I love to uh, experiment, but I'm fine with it. Yeah, Rowan. I mean that's that's what's up. You know what I mean? I mean sometimes you're not gonna make a profit. Um, for me personally, I'm kind of the same way. Where you know if I'm if I'm you know needing a card to throw into a deck or not, then you know I'll, I I don't really care about really making profit per se off trades. Uh, as much as I am kind of just ex getting, you know, getting the experience or whatnot. Um, there's a lot of people that, that kind of play the game to like, to kind of flip and make, and make a profit. I love this Gengar, dude. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. He's licking the stairs. I, I don't recommend that. Definitely not during the pandemic either. Are any chilling rains, uh, legal tournaments this week? Liang, actually, it's funny you mentioned that. Uh, this weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday is the free entry, uh, GG Tour at Chill TCG Cup. Uh, which is going on. Uh, it's a regional style event, uh, but Chilling Rains is legal for that tournament. It's free to enter. Uh, it's Saturday and Sunday. You don't have to play day two, if you, especially if you don't make day two. But yeah, so GG Tour, the tournament is this weekend. Uh, Frostlass, I really want Frostlass as well. It's one of my favorite cards from the set. Uh, so yeah, go check that out. Go check out the GG Tour tournament. It's on the Limitless website. Um, so yeah, definitely go check that out. Uh, Corolla, if you're in here, can you go? You should. Can you grab the link? Um, are you able to grab the, uh, can you, can you paste the link for the GG tour tournament in chat? Is that possible? <clears throat> you think I should have kept the 36 battle sauce pack to try a new deck instead of buying alternate Urshifu VMAX? I mean, it's up to you, man. I mean, Urshifu is a really good deck and the alternate arts are really, really cool. So, you know, Lucas, yeah, it's also $500 prize pool. Yeah. I, I, did I not mention that? Yeah, so it's free entry and there's five hundred dollars cash, like US US dollars, uh, that you can win uh, by playing this weekend. It's gonna be really cool. It's also live streamed live, um, if you make top cut. So that's pretty cool. Lucas, Lucas, do you want to grab the link? Are you in here? Can you can you grab the limitless link? There we go, Chriselia. Come to me. Making a lichen rock deck. Sounds interesting. We have a bunch of those top of pennies. 
actually found it already. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah, good. so you can just register for that. Super easy to just register. Um, I think we start at like 10 a.m. or 12 at something or something on uh, on Saturday. So, you know, you just get up, you start playing your matches, and you know, you just have fun. If you do well, you know, you could potentially win some money. So, um, it's going on the same time as Players Cup Four, which is a bit unfortunate. I know a lot of people were a bit upset about that, um, but. Do you think that Scorch is still powerful? I think that'll be better in this new meta. Do you? Yeah, I mean, I think Scorch is really underrated. I just think that people don't really play it anymore. Ooh, okay. So this is actually our third full art, Galarian Rapidash V, but it's a very awesome card. Uh, extremely, extremely cool card. Um, and uh, very glad to uh, to have three of those. Reyna says bye. Goodbye, Reyna. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. I appreciate you and everything that you that you do. All right. Anyway, let's open some more. Lipard, that's our fifth Lipard. See, now we're getting to the point where we have extra. Like, we, we have, like, additional um, of a lot of cards, but we're still missing some cards that we still need. Uh, Volcanion. Okay, so we have three of those now. Again, I think I need more Blazikins. Um, I need Sandaconda VMAX. I have the Vs and everything. I just need the VMAXs. And Metagross. This was another one. So that's our third Metagross VMAX. And I believe I have two or three Metagross Vs. And that's, an, of course, another deck that I want to play. Metagross is really cool, actually. It's almost exactly like Victini, um, just in its inherent nature. Um, and I think that Metagross um, is going to be really good with Galarian Rapidash. I really do. Um, Rohan, can I get the link? Uh, Lucas. Someone paste the link. Do you want me to go find the link? I can go grab it re real quick. Give me one sec. I'm on pause. I know that the stream's frozen. I just got to grab the link. So give me one sec. Here it is. All right. I'm going to post it here in the chat. Paste. Boom. There's the link to the GG Tour tournament. Uh, free to enter. Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, you, know, you can win 500 bucks cash. So it's, you know. Is Metagross good? I don't think Metagross is, like, super good, uh, realistically, but I think that it's going to be fun to run Bronzong, Cheryl. Uh, we also have things like Galarian Rapidash. It's it's honestly just going to be, like, Metal-type Victini, which realistically is worse because there's a lot of Fire-type uh, decks in our format. But, no, yeah, I mean, I think that Metagross is a, is a very fine deck. A uh, very fine deck, uh, for sure. Thank you for your opinion. Invest in IRL Santa Scorch deck, so I felt... The people stopped playing it. Uh, I thought maybe it was a bad investment. Nah, I mean, right. It's it's one of those things where, like, even though it's not... Ooh! That's a really cool full art. I have not seen that yet. That's awesome, actually. Um, yeah, it's one of those things where... Uh, what's up, Alex? How you doing? Oh, Lucas, uh, you already did? Oh, I, I don't know. Sorry, I missed, I missed the link. I'm, I'm sorry. Lucas, I'm sorry, man. Opening packs. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think a lot of people play Santa Scorch, but I think it is a good deck. There's no reason why... Uh, you know, like Santa Scorch didn't lose cards to make the deck worse. The kind of the format shifted around and people would just now play Victini instead of Santa Scorch. But, you know, that doesn't mean Santa Scorch is bad, you know. And, and I think that a lot of times that's the problem where, you know, when people who don't play decks very often or when decks aren't played very often at all these online tournaments, they don't win a lot, right? Because now in like Chill Series, you know, these days you might see like one or two Santa Scorches being played out of four or five hundred people. So, uh, it's just not likely for it to win, but that doesn't mean that it's not good, you know? Slow King V any good? I don't know. I might get invested in the TCG game again because I've been waiting for Metagross deck to play. LOL, let's go, Corb. I'm all about Metagross as well. Um, Foo Dog Foo Dog God with the question marks. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, hello. Let's go, chat. Excuse me? Echoing Horn, gold. That's what I'm talking about. I like that. Uh, the link doesn't show to others. I also tried posting it. You guys can see the link, though, because I posted it, right? Like, I posted it so you guys can see the link, but I don't think you guys are allowed to post links unless you're admin, I think is how that works. Um, yeah, won't Santa Scorch lose viability when Wilder rotates? That's true. Santa Scorch will not survive rotation. Uh, but right now, in this format, I think Santa Scorch is going to be very good. Uh, but yeah, when Welder rotates, I just don't see Santa Scorch being very viable at all, unless something else gets printed. Um, what do I think of Ampharos as a Pokemon? I like Ampharos, actually. It's a very creative uh, design. Rohan hype. Uh, sorry, I posted a question earlier. People say E-turn is going to get better. 
uh, but I like, uh, but I feel like cards like Avery Path hurt it a lot. Thoughts? See, that's the thing. Like, like, E turn as a, as a deck got better, uh, and I think this is kind of where the confusion always happens. Where uh, there was a few cards that got printed that make E turn a better list, right? It improves the deck list of E turn, but it, it, that doesn't mean that the meta, um, it, you know, this the current situation uh, of the meta game is going to be better for E turn, right? Um, I think that E turn as a deck did get better. Uh, shout out to our sixth Ice Rider VMAX. Uh, yeah, so I think that, that E-Turn as a deck did get better, but I think that there's a lot of cards that other decks are going to be playing uh, that are going to make it harder for E-Turn to do well in a lot of matchups, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, uh, our stream should be live still. Um, if somebody asked that, uh, Marcus, the stream should be live. You might just have to refresh the page. Uh, there are a lot of counters for E-Turn now, Alex. Exactly, right. Right, so I mean, again, like I said, the the, the format, the meta game, might not be as kind to Eater as it once was, uh, but I think that the deck is consistently getting better with time. It's just, you know, sometimes that's not enough to keep it, uh, you know, from seeing a lot of success. Um, we pulled like five Path to the Peak, and you didn't notice. Um, I mean, I've been pulling a bunch of Path to the Peaks. I have like probably thirty of them at this point. Uh, I hate Metagross. Played Gardevoir GX in here, so I always get cheaply KO'd. Yeah, man. I feel that. Yeah, Rohan, I have a bunch of Path to the Peaks, so I don't know if that's... I don't know. What? I don't know. Oh, baby. Okay, so that's awesome. So we needed that, actually. We needed that fourth Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. So now we have the full playset uh, of both Shadow Riders. So we don't need any more of these. Again, we have six Ice Rider VMAXs, so... Uh, you know, that's obviously we're a little bit over that at that point. But, again, it's such a phenomenal card. Uh, I like that Psychic is now might be one of the best decks in the format because Psychic is one of my favorite types. Um, I meant Chilling Rains packs uh, aren't available to open yet for me, Marcus. Um, is that true? I'm not sure why that would be the case. Um, oh, Marcus, you mean like buy them on the shop? If you mean buy them on the shop, yeah. So you're not going to be able to buy them with your in-game coins um, until... Uh, tomorrow, I think at one o'clock or so. Um, I'm not sure why they do that, per se. Uh, maybe they're waiting for the ladder rewards to reset. I, I honestly have no idea why they do that. Uh, but yeah, so if you you can you can type in the codes right now. The only way to actually get Chilling Rains packs, there's our fourth Metagross V Max baby. Let's go. Such a cool looking card too. This this guy does 100 and then 250 for two energy the next turn. So absolutely phenomenal. Zap Traction is actually really underrated as well. Uh, so you get to search your deck for two cards. So this could be literally played in control decks too. A uh, very viable card. Um, a reverse path to the peak. I uh, appreciate the info. Definitely makes sense. Fudugog. Yeah, cool. I, I mean, I'm, hopefully I'm making sense. I don't know. Half the time I definitely don't. Um, so yeah. So what was I saying? Yeah, so you cannot cash in the coins for packs. But the only way that you can open packs in the game is by uh, entering the codes from the code cards which come in IRL packs. So those are the only ways to get the packs right now. Uh, luckily, our sponsor, PTCGO Zone, uh, you know, hooked it up, and they have a bunch of codes, so we were able to get that rolling. Also, TPCI, they have they have unlimited codes because they make the codes, so uh, they they were able to hook us up as well. Um, ladder will not reset until Monday, yeah. So that's interesting. Actually, Saturday it'll be in the store. Is that true? We have to wait till Saturday, huh? Gian, dang, that's tough. That's tough. Uh, whenever like the 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 tournaments third Celebi. when do the tournament oh jeez when do the tournaments open up like when do the uh you know like the little key tournaments open up the little the pod turns okay guys listen we don't need any more riders cali rexes we don't need these we've got all of the ice riders all of the shadow riders we could possibly need i guess it's good to have them to trade but yeah we definitely don't need more of those uh, the daily challenge resets every day yeah yeah, yeah. they're I'm I'm curious because like you can you can get packs by playing in those little key tournaments, uh, in like the events section on PTCGO. So that's why I'm curious when do those uh, start when when you're able to use and play Chilling Rains cards in those tournaments. That's my question. Um, Sir Koopa, did Chilling Rains, uh, Chilling Rain in-game tournaments go up tomorrow? That's what I was wondering. Yeah, in-game tournaments. That's what I'm that's what I'm curious about because those are fun, um, and it's also a great way to earn some packs. Your pulse have been pretty great. I think my IRL hits have been better. Uh, that online food dog, yeah, I, I honestly, I kind of agree. I opened th uh, three boxes IRL, and my pulls were very good. Uh, I, my, but online, they've been really good as well. I, I just don't have a lot of variants. I open like the same cards over and over again. I would like Sandacondas, and I would like Blazikins. Those are the ones that I really want right now. 
Uh, give me all your spare V Maxes and Vs, lol. We'll probably do a giveaway at some point, although when we do giveaways, uh, which we're definitely going to do in the next few weeks, we do giveaways to our channel members. Uh, so if you look down below, there's like a join button next to subscribe. Um, and it's actually like $1.99, I think. It's literally super cheap to become a channel member, and you get access to a bunch of different perks, as well as uh, big giveaways that we do uh, you know, every now and then on the uh, in our Discord server. You also get a special role in the Discord server. So if you're interested in a, a big Chilling Rains card giveaway that we're going to be doing, uh, you can become a channel member. That's an option. 150 tickets and 10,000 coins. Man, you are prepped for Chilling Rains. This is our first time pulling Cinderace. These uh, starter Pokemon, uh, new hollow rares in the set seem to be super hard to pull, but they're all, all three of them are very viable, which is cool. Definitely very interesting, though, that I literally have only pulled one of these and one Rillaboom. Uh, definitely super interesting. 60 people in here. What's going on, guys? Thank you for tuning in. I, you know, I appreciate it. I, you know, this isn't, again, it's not like super high production. Nothing too crazy. We're just open to pack. So it's cool that you guys are coming in and tuning in. We do this every time a new set comes out. Uh, we'll kind of get together and just open a bunch of packs because I got to do it anyway. Uh, so I might as well do it on stream and I might as well have you guys... That's seven, by the way. We almost have two play sets. Uh, but, yeah. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Um, like already. Let's write Rohan. Like the video already. What are you waiting for? How many likes do we have in here? We have 20 likes. I mean, you guys are doing good. You guys are doing good. I'm just, you know, I appreciate it. That's our sixth life card. Like I said, we just opened the same... Like like six rare cards like over and over again. I just would like some variants. I would like some Sandacondas and Blazikins. And I think I need a couple Metagross Vs. I don't think I have... Do I even have Galarian Slowking VMAX? I don't know if I do, to be honest with you. I should be able to trade for him, though, with my extra Cal Calyrex VMAX. So I'm not too, too worried about that. Uh, Slurpuff, very underrated card. I think this, this is going to be very viable um, in control decks. It's kind of like a substitute for the... Um, the Excadrill, the Roto Tiller Excadrill. Um, follow the scent. Yeah, so it's going to be really good. It's going to be a really good deck in control. You get to take cards from your discard pile, put them back in your hand. Uh, always an incredibly good control uh, strategy. These Calyrexes ain't as bad as your Tapu Koko pulls from Battle Styles. Dude, what a callback. Uh, Guillermo? Uh, Gu Gu Guillermo? I'm not sure. Corona. I I'm just going to call you Corona. Yeah, if you were there, man, you were there for the... Um, Liang, chill duty. I can always trade one rider. Yeah, for two. That's true. Yeah, it's a good point. You know, I would like to pull it though, but yeah, I guess I can. I can manage to trade. It's not a big deal. I'm. I'm just being dramatic. Yeah, if you were there for the battle styles opening that we did like three months ago at this point. Ooh, full art Melanie. Nice, nice. You got. You love to see that. Uh, there was a conspiracy going around because she's holding an ultra ball that maybe we're gonna get an ultra ball reprint. That could be pretty cool. Melanie's a very good card though. One of my favorites, uh, in the set. Um. These Calyrexes aren't as bad as your Tapu Coco pulls, man. Dude, I know. We pulled, like, I don't know. We opened, like, 300 packs of Battle Styles, and I and I opened, uh, I think I opened, like, like 10 or plus, ten or more, t like, Tapu Coco Vs, and it was real rough for a while. Can I trade you Calyrex? Uh, I have packs for them, if not a problem. Yeah, I mean, as long as it's, um like, the the value that they're going for at the moment. I don't mind trading them at all. I don't really care who I trade them to. So if you look up, uh, I do suggest you go look up on PTCG prices, PTCGO prices. Uh, it'll let you know how much, um, you know, the, each card is going for in terms of Chilling Rain's pack. So, you know, if you send an offer that's worth it, then I'll, you know, 100% I'll trade it. Um, I have an extra Intellion League Battle Deck. Hopefully I can trade for some Chilling Rain's. That would, could be cool for sure. I opened a lot of battle styles as well and pulled seven Flapple VMAX, dude. Yeah, but Flapple's unreal, though. Flapple, man, I, I don't know. I still think that deck is pretty good, too, but nobody nobody plays it. I love Flapple. I made a Flapple video, and it actually popped off kind of on the channel. Um, Galarian Moltres. Yeah, I'm always a big Flapple fan. I'm a fan of the Grass-type decks because, for some reason, they never print, like, good Grass-type cards. I just don't know why. Um... I have an extra Intellion. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, do you think that Shadow Rider V will drop from 10 packs for one? I have four V Maxes and no Vs. 
Uh, I can wait a bit, but it feels like 10 is a lot for a V. Yeah, if it's 10 chilling rains for a Shadow Rider V, that seems a little bit expensive to me. I don't, I don't know if that's actually the case. Um, I'll look it up after, honestly. If you guys want to stick around after, I'll hop on PTCG prices, um, and uh, I'll, uh, you know, I'll send some trades. We'll, we'll figure out some trades if you guys are interested. Uh, there's our sixth Zorora, because I do have a lot of extra Vs, so as long as the trades are somewhat reasonable, I don't mind trading away all of these sort of extras that we're pulling here uh, for some stuff that I, I need or more packs, preferably for things I need, but... Anyone have a Calyrex for trade? Liang says that's not true. I'm not sure what that means. Somebody have a Calyrex? Can you open trading post so we can offer anytime we want? Uh, without being friends in game, you must have over 400 plus friends. Yeah, I do have. Yeah, my friends list is probably filled up. Yes, more frost lass. I'm not sure what you mean opening up, open up a trading post. I don't actually know how that works. Uh, I'll figure it out. I have a trades channel in the Discord server, so if you guys want to communicate, uh, I just that was an Articuno, by the way, but I, I never I didn't click on it because we have a bunch of Articunos already. Um, on the website prices, it's ten for one V. So any extra uh, psychic Vs, I love to trade you for them. Sure, yeah, I'm down. If you got the packs, man. I still have a single Chilling Rains card yet. Oh no, saving my codes for a big opening. Hey, you know. It's always worth doing. We're fortunate, you know, um, to be doing this. You know, I it I, it's kind of weird how like things kind of work out because you know I run the tournaments, uh, which like every week we give away hundreds of packs to the players. I mean, they compete for them, but it's you know they don't have to enter in the tournament or anything. Um, and uh, we're lucky enough because of the YouTube channel and all you guys watching the streams and stuff that we're able to give away all this stuff for free. Um, and uh, because of that. Uh, they also kind of send some extra ones to do openings like this and to help with the content that we make on the channel as well. So we're definitely really fortunate over here as well. It's extremely fortunate. Um, and, uh, you know, you got to love it. Have you pulled any extra Zorora, Sir Koopa? Yeah, I think I have a few extra Zororas. Yep. Um, I do. Okay. So this is our third Tornado's VMAX. This is something different. Uh, it's just nice to see something different. Now, okay, uh, and Tornadoes VMAX, 120 if there's a stadium in play, does 120 more damage, and then you discard that stadium. So 240 for four uh, isn't actually that bad. There's always going to be a stadium in play. Trust me, that's what this format is. Uh, so basically consistent 240 with four energies, but uh, you can run Houndoom. You can accelerate single-strike energies to this thing. You can also run powerful colorless energies. This thing for four energies could easily one-hit KO VMAX Pokemon at some point. You're also weak to... Uh, you also resist fighting, which could be pretty relevant as well. I'm not saying it's going to be super good, but I think that it is an interesting alternative, uh, 100%. Um, yeah, I do have extra Zororas. Yes, 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 let's go. It's been so long. I've opened like 300 packs plus packs. Let's go, guys. I love Santa Con of Emacs. Not only is the design of this thing cool, it's a snake and it's a, tor it's a tornado, uh, but uh, I just love Sand Pole 60 and uh, 20 to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. If you ask me, that sounds phenomenal. Uh, it really does. And then we also do 180 4 3. Um, and we can move our energies however we want. That's busted. This card is literally, I think, meant to go with Cheryl. So very awesome. Our first one that we pulled. So very happy to see it. Um, I don't think people notice that Aurora says uh, Rapid Strike Pokemon other than this one, um, which means you can uh, cycle Zorora. Yeah. So. Right, so if you have multiple Zororas, you can just go to the other Zorora, and then you do that the full effect of his attack. So Zorora is phenomenally good. It re it's really, really, really good card. Um, X do you have extra Shadow Riders or Ice Riders? If you don't want to trade them, I totally understand why. I do have extra. So like I said, so after the stream, this is our fourth Galarian Zapdos. Um, after the stream, guys, stick around, and we'll, we'll, we'll organize a way to get some trades going. Um, and uh, it'll probably kind of just be a free-for-all. So, like, I'll, I'll pull up what we have to trade, and then you guys can just kind of send offers. Uh, but I don't know how to... Um, okay, so this was... We actually haven't pulled this guy yet either, which is super cool. So this is Galarian Sloking VMAX. Um, very interesting card. Um, it's a single strike Pokemon. Um, Max Toxify uh, does 10 damage, but your opponent puts 12 damage counters instead of just one on, on checkup for poison. Uh, so, again, that can be increased further with things like Toxicroak. 
Um, you can increase its damage with single strike energies as well. So it's a very interesting card. Um, I don't know if it has enough tools yet to be super relevant right now, uh, but at some point it definitely could be really, really good, I think. Um, tape a lot of extras for each. Uh, what, v are, what V are we still missing? I think we need a couple... I think we need Blaziken and Metagross. I think those are the V Pokemon that we need. Um, and yet again, that's our what our seventh Ice Rider V Max. We pull a ton of these Ice Rider, uh, just uh, Calyrex V Maxes. I mean, we have a, like seven or eight of each of these two types, uh, which again they they are the most playable, most sought after V Maxes in the set. Uh, so it's good, definitely good to be pulling those uh, more than the other ones for sure. Um, I don't want to complain about that, but interesting nonetheless. Uh, so what are the key cards uh, you're looking for this expansion playable, I mean? For me, uh, I look for all of them because I'm not somebody that plays the game super competitively. I don't always play the best meta decks. Um, I do play the game a lot. I do love the game a lot. But I tend to always play some of the decks that are a little bit more underappreciated. That's just how I personally like to play. Um, for me, my, it, so Ice, the Ice Rider and Shadow Rider are probably the best two new decks. Ooh, Full Art, Metagross. Let's go. I like that. That's a very cool one as well. Very cool. We have three of those, actually, so I don't know what I was talking about. So those are, yeah, those are probably the best new archetypes in the set, but uh, Blaziken and um, Blaziken and and Zorora, that deck. That deck combination is also going to be pretty viable as well. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I think that'll be a fun deck for me. My favorite decks in the set are going to be uh, Metagross, Sandaconda. Um, those are probably my two favorites, but I, I'm, I'm going to enjoy the other ones as well. How much Chilling Rains packs is Shiny Crobat V going for? Right now, two packs. Interesting. Uh, where can I see the price uh, for I trade you and I don't make any mistake? Uh, Shiny Shadow. There's a website here. Let me let me, let me me grab that website for you guys. So uh, our sponsor, PTCGO Zone, actually um, owns a, a website, and it's called PTCGO Prices. Uh, and you can look up the, the actual in-game trade value uh, in packs of, of any card in the game. So I highly recommend... Uh, following that link to, 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 to find out what the what the cards are going for on the trades. Um, yeah, Zorora Altart is so good, dude. I haven't seen one of those uh, myself, but very good. Anyway, yeah, thank you for the link. Yeah, use that link, guys. So once once we're done opening, you guys can just start sending me trades uh, for stuff. And, it, and if it's, uh, you know, if I have the extras and... And the trade is somewhat viable. Yes, Blaziken. I only have two of these. I really love this Blaziken card. Uh, it's phenomenally, phenomenally good. Uh, 60 clutch, 60 damage, one fire energy during your next turn. The defending Pokemon can't retreat. But the next attack, two colorless. Two colorless energy. Uh, and it is a rapid strike Pokemon. So, again, rapid strike energy works on this bad guy. Uh, 130 damage. Choose up to two of your benched rapid strike Pokemon and attach an energy card from your discard pile to each of them. So, very good, you know, low energy attack cost. Um, on, on this VMAX here, we can accelerate energy in the process. goes very good with Zorora because they're both rapid strike Pokemon. So then we can follow up with Zorora and do uh, like 200 damage to the bench. So a really, really, really great card. Um, Alt Art Ice Rider. Did I pull Alt Art Ice Rider? There's no way I pulled Alt Art Ice Rider in it. Wait, hold on. There's no way. Did I pull all? There's no way. I was I was posting the link. Are you guys Are you guys serious? Hold on. There's no way. You guys You guys are messing with me right now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's no way. Oh, excuse, let's go. I don't know how I missed that. I really don't know. I'm sorry. Thank you guys for letting me know in the chat. I was busy sending you that link. Man, look at this one. This one is also extremely good. Uh, my favorite... Oh, wow, yeah. I like this one a lot. My favorite part is the spiel here. Look at his face. I can't zoom in, but if you can see his little face here. He's just, like, super happy to be there. Very cool card. Very cool card. We have 100 packs left. We're almost at the end of this. Uh, Logan, am I going to hide from Crollo? Yeah, I probably will. Uh, Crollo scares me, and, and uh, his stake is just way too overcooked for me to be even close to him. Uh, it's a good time to pick up Blaziken and Zorora since the Shadow Rider is hype. I agree with that. Chrome, go look, bro. Yeah, man. Chrome, dude. You're right. I know. I'm sorry. I know. I didn't notice. I, I, I wasn't paying attention. Wasn't a good time to not be paying attention. 
<laughs> you guys are on top of things. I love it. It would have been funny if I didn't know that and I was like checking my collection later and I was just like, where did this come from? You know, that would have been funny. That would have been pretty funny. Um, I actually, though, I'm probably going to, just so you guys know, I probably won't be trading away alt arts to you guys, just the extra um, uh, normal art stuff and full arts because um, the alt arts, I, I promised that I would save them for my friend Zach Lesage. I don't know if you guys know Zach. Uh, he collects uh, all of the play, play sets of all the alt art cards. So whenever I pull an alt art, I keep it for him. So that when I trade it away, I trade it exclusively to Zach because it's just hard uh, to find those alt arts. So I'm keeping the alt arts for Zach. Uh, but everything else is going to be... Oh, there he is. <laughs> Zach's in the chat. Zach, we just pulled an alt art for you, my dude. Uh, it's going to be pretty... F there we go. I don't know. Do you have Ice Rider V alt art? Because we just pulled that. And I was just telling them that we're saving it for you. Man, what? That's such weird timing, Zach. You must have been in here the whole time. You must have been in here the whole time, and then you just decided to talk while I was mentioning you, I think. That's what it must have been. You actually got all the art arts, so I'm good? Okay, sweet. That's wild that you already got all the art arts. Alt, alt arts. You've been grinding, my dude. Um, you've been absolutely grinding. There's still a few things that I need, Zach, but I've opened a ton of extra um, Calyrex VMAXs for Shadow Rider and Ice Rider, so I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be able to trade it for the rest of the stuff that I need. We also have 100 packs left to go, so um, I think that um, you got a play set of everything now. Uh, did you manually input 400 codes? Um, yeah, I did, actually. I, I did. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say it. I actually manually inputted like 600 or like 500 something, but uh, yeah, so... I had like 150 something codes uh, that I actually had to like scan in because I had the physical code cards uh, from the boxes that TPCI sent. But uh, the rest of them, uh, it was much easier because they were digital, you know, the digital codes which uh, were sent to me by the sponsors uh, as well as TPCI. The TPCI codes were really easy because uh, you enter one code and it has like a, a 36 packs just from one code. I like those codes. Uh, I like those ones. Uh we both love Zapdos TCG. Are we talking about Zapdos? A uh, lot of my two favorite Poketubers here. Now all I need is Zapdos TCG. Zapdos TCG is the man. Heck yeah. I thought he was in the chat. That would have been hype. Uh, can we buy packs for coins on the PTCGO store? Alex, uh, say more. Not yet. I believe you have to wait a day or two to use your in-game codes to buy uh, packs for the new Chilling Rain set. Yeah. Zach, yeah, he's got everything done now, man. Insane. All we got to do is record these videos, Zach. You know? All we got to do is... is uh, All we got to do is record all the new cool decks. How much are codes going for in dollars? I believe one code is about $1 right now. Uh, but that's like retail value. So again, um, you know, if, if, if you kind of know somebody or you have an in... Or people that might be, you know, distributing codes or or whatnot, or if you're sponsored like I am, it's 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 not that much. Uh, but if they're selling it to customers, especially right on today, like the day that you can enter these codes, uh, they're going to be one dollar each, and that's pretty much the standard um, for uh, you know a base uh, normal uh, full size expansion set. All right, guys, listen, I have three uh, Rainbow Rare Claros, um, and I might just give these away. I think honestly. Um, so at the end of the stream, we're going to give away one full art Clara to, uh, three people or rainbow rare Clara to three people. Does that sound cool? Uh, I just have three of them, so we might as well just do it. So three people, three people are, are going to, uh, win rainbow Clara's Clara, Clara. I'm not sure. <clears throat> so you have 70, what is that? Seven, 7,700 coats or power coins. Yeah. So that's going to be a decent amount of codes, man. It's a good thing. Yeah, it'll get cheaper later on. Yeah, I think most sets, it, it depends on how viable or how many good cards are in the set. Um, I, like, I don't know what Battle Styles goes for. I think it's about like 30 or 40 cents per code uh, right now, and that's three months after the set came out, right? So uh, that's something to keep in mind. Yeah, guys, stick around till the end if you want to have a chance to win a Full Art Clara. I'm the weirdo. What game is this? This is the Pokemon trading card game online. Uh, this is where we uh, we specialize. This is what we do. Um, yeah. I, I'm the weirdo. Yeah, this is what this is. This is the Pokemon trading card game online. I don't know. Look it up. It's hard to explain. 
uh, just click my channel and look at all the stuff I do. Everything. I mean, we do tournaments. Uh, we do gameplay. There's our seventh Zorora. Uh, we do do gameplay. We do tutorials. We do all sorts of stuff on PTCGO. So if you're interested in learning more about the game, just go check out my channel uh, or Zach's channel, Zach Lesage, or just a bunch of other people, really. Uh, that's a lot of really great content creators in PTCGO. Kalara. That's right, the Rainbow Kalaras. Maybe we'll open another one, honestly. I don't know. If we open another one, we'll give it away, but... I'm gonna vape because I'm a great role model, uh, and then we have an Obama snow. This one's also really cool. I don't know what he's doing in that, in that art, but he's hype. The homies are hype. I, again, this quillfish, dude. I've, I mean, we have sixty, we have fifty-one of these quillfish, but I love that card. I really do. All right, we have sixty-eight packs left to go. So, what cards are you needing now, Chill TCG? I need Sandicon to Vmax. I need some Blazing and stuff. Um, and I believe I need Sloking VMAX. So none of the stuff that's going to be too, too expensive. Um, but uh, how do you have Locked Chilling Rain already, Chrome? Okay, yeah. So this is uh, the, the Locked Chilling Rain cards and packs were the ones from TPCI. So the Pokemon Company International uh, did send me, pers they personally, um, you know, helped us out and they, and they sent us some codes. Um, they're locked packs though. So when you enter those codes that TPCI sends, um, they're uh they're locked i mean unfortunately but again it's not really unfortunate i mean it's it's very fortunate for me that they sent the code so i'm not complaining whatsoever um and they sent three booster box worth of codes um to me um and uh yeah and they were locked packs so 108 locked packs from tbci uh chrome if that if that i mean that's that's the explanation i don't if you want any more of an explanation i'll talk to you oh gold rugged helmet i actually pulled this card in real life as well um, and it is a very cool card. Rugged Helmet. I mean, again, I don't know. Maybe it will see play. Maybe it'll be some type of, in some type of control deck. I don't know. Uh, but definitely pretty interesting. Uh, you're almost set, man. Uh, congrats. I know, man. We're almost there. Uh, no, it's cool for you. I was just curious. Yeah, Chrome. So, yeah, I mean, that's the explanation. I know. I, that's the thing. You're probably never going to see locked packs at like right now at this time uh, for, for Chilling Rains because, that, you know, it's just not really a thing. But, yeah, that's the explanation kind of a weird thing to explain as well uh volcarona how many do we have left 60 okay we have 60 left chill tcg is running today i uh, just uploaded the grand finals video usually premiere them i uh, uh forgot to do so so this this time i don't I, sometimes i premiere the the grand finals video uh typically what i do with premieres is um if the video is like long like if it's like a 45 plus minute video then i'll premiere it because it's going to be going on for a long time uh live but if, it, if the video is a bit shorter, like 30 minutes or under, I typically won't premiere the video, which happened this week with, with Grand Finals, um, since it was, a, it was a shorter one. Ooh, Full Art Agatha. Very cool. I love Agatha. Uh, Rahan, how did you get locked packs? I just, ex I just explained it. Uh, the packs that the Pokemon company sent me uh, are locked when I entered them. Short, short explanation. So yeah, Ron, that's the that's the reason why we didn't live premiere the, the grand finals video. Ooh, there's our fourth Tornadus V Max. There we go. Very awesome. Uh, did I get any Blissey V? Yeah. So I, I think I have um, a full playset of Blissey Vs, and I also have uh, quite a few full arts of Blissey. We haven't seen them really at all in this video, but in all of the previous packs that I entered off stream, we opened a lot of Blissey. So I think we should might we we might have some extras to send as well. Uh, we'll figure that out after though. Am I going to test a deck today, Gian? Uh, so no, I'm, I'm probably not going to be uh, playing much live right now. Uh, we're not going to be testing too much live. I'm going to be saving that for the upcoming videos. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, we're going to be doing double uploads for the next like three, four, maybe even five days. Um, so you guys, just stay tuned to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Tomorrow, I think I might cover both of the uh, Calyrex VMAX decks, Ice Rider and Shadow Rider. We're going to be doing deck profiles, talking about the deck briefly, playing some games. Um, and testing them out. So uh, all of the testing and all of the decks that we're going to be playing are going to be in their own videos. Um, and those are going to be kind of uploaded with the next few days. I'm going to try to do two a day for the next four or five days. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, Celebi V. And now we got the playset of Celebis. Uh, Rohan, I see, I see. Uh, yeah, now three Sandicondas and two Blazikens. That's right. And also, um, oh, Peony. Okay. Uh, let's give this one away as well, guys. So we're going to give away a Peony. And we'll just we'll just say that's four, four rainbow rare supporters. So there we go. 
what is the airspeed velocity um, of an un unlightened swallow? Dark Fable. Airspeed velocity. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Only two of these, but we're, we're getting there. That's good. One that we don't have a lot of. I love that. Uh, if I had to guess the airspeed velocity of a, of a, of a, of a, a swallow in flight, I bet that thing could probably go, you know, downwind too. Yeah, I bet, I, I bet it could probably get 60, 65 miles per hour. I don't know what that is in kilometers per hour, but anyway. Um, Gian, I'll be tuned in for the deck videos then. Yes, please do, man. Please, yeah, just, you know, please do. I, I, you know, they're going to be really fun. I can't wait. Uh, but when we're doing decks, I like to kind of segment it all out, plan it all out. Uh, well, YouTube for me is very satisfying because I can kind of get this portfolio uh, where we cover all of the decks. So it's just a resource to have uh, if anybody's kind of looking back and, and trying to find really good lists. Uh, what we also do too, uh, especially like when Chill, like I'm super excited for this week's uh, Chill series because we're going to have all these new decks see play. Um, and uh, people are going to have time to test, to perfect the decks, perfect playing them. Um, and I really cannot wait to post uh, like the grand finals match. Um, for next week's chill series or just talk and even just talk about the decks that make top 16 um, I'm actually super super excited uh, to be able to do that um, And uh, you know, I'm, it's gonna be a really fun week for YouTube uh, For Pokemon TCG. It's just gonna be an absolutely phenomenal week uh, in general So if you guys, you know are able to stick around all week and, and, ch and tune into all the great content that's coming I highly recommend it Sometimes not a Python fit. So three Sandacondas, uh, two Blazikins, and two Galarian Slowkings. Yeah, I think that's it, honestly. I, I think that's it. But we should be able to trade for him either way. Um, but we got really darn close to, uh, to opening, just opening everything that we needed as well, uh, which is super cool. Greedent. Um, did you see the new Suicune V from Towering Perfection? No, but that look, that sounds super cool. Is that the set coming after Evolving Skies? No, I, I've not heard about that. Uh, that sounds very cool. Boom, baby. There we go. There we go. And we're knocking them off slowly. Uh, three. I don't even know if you need four necessarily in that deck, uh, but it will it would be nice to have a full play set. So. Yeah, man, I used it the other day, or should be deck, uh, to make my list. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Gian. You know, there you go. Uh, there you go. And a lot of times when I make videos on deck lists, I do videos on decks that have previously done well or won our chill series tournaments so they're proven to be successful right um also like if you go and just watch the grand finals videos i post the deck lists in the descriptions for those as well so you know like realistically you can just kind of take the lists from from the grand finals uh grand finals match videos as well which is always pretty fun uh to try some of those lists like that cinderace list we're probably gonna make a deck video on it but for now uh you know as we're kind of covering the new the new set stuff uh, you can go, you can go ahead and grab that deck list. It's in the it's in the description of the grand finals video, uh, if you guys were interested. Seven Auroras. wild. Rohan is just counting the cards that we need. Um, did you know that maybe you're gonna pull a secret rare, Brillon? That would be really cool. Uh, we have thirty packs left, so if I pull a secret rare, uh, that would be cool. I would be really happy about that. I would be. Oh, okay, okay, all right. I see you. This is a really cool full art. I like the color scheme behind it. They did a really good job with this one. Uh, and Zapdos is such a good card, uh, realistically. Just, it's just such a good card. Um, uh, do I know any Zorora Blaziken lists right now? I do know some lists. Um, but, uh, again, you're going to have to wait until I cover it on the channel. Uh, no, I'm sure other people will be posting lists or, um, you know, uh, making videos on it as well. So just stay tuned for that. Uh, we're probably going to cover that deck. Um, we'll probably post that video Saturday. Uh, I think Saturday is when that video will come out for the Blaziken's Aurora deck. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. Um, no, it's the set that will be making Evolving Skies. Oh, Suicune's will be in Evolving Skies. That's very cool. I learned how to play my decks from Grand Finals. Their plays are crazy. I know the people who make it to Grand Finals at Chill Series are really, really good players. And, and it's, it's a really good way to... Uh, uh, to learn decks and to and to to see like some pretty high level play realistically, um, yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, we're almost we're wrapping up at the end here. Uh, we're almost there. Volcanion V. Wait, how many of these do I have? Five. Okay, cool.
Raina, I cannot wait for the competition uh, in the weekend. Yeah, I mean, I mean GG Tour, the, the $500 tournament this weekend is going to be extremely fun. Uh, and if you guys have the time to register and play for that, I highly recommend it. Um, Rohan says he's going to make a pure Zorora deck. I actually like that idea as well. Good luck, uh, Brillon. Antonio to get the secret rare. We'll see. We have uh, limited cards left. We have s seven Moltres, so we're going to be able to trade three of those away for you guys. Uh, 16 packs left. Uh, what's been your best pull IRL? You hit Blaze can be max Altart and Gold Snorlax. That is super cool. Uh, my best pulls IRL. I pulled a Rainbow Rare uh, Shadow Rider V Max, which was really cool. I pulled an alternate Art Articuno V, which was really cool. Um, and I pulled Gold Electrode. Gold Electrode is in the set as well. The single prize shiny gold electrode. I pulled that, which was honestly one of my favorite pulls. Um, and then I also pulled one of the gold secret rare fighting energies. Uh, those are kind of the big ones off the top of my head that I remember. Thank you, uh, Gianfranco. I really appreciate that. I, I really appreciate that. Speaking of OP, you should check it out before the video ends. Uh, we probably won't check it out on stream, but, uh, I will check it out. I promise. And I'm, and I am going to be excited, uh, for when that finally releases here overseas. All right. 10 left. Last 10. You guys got to give the, you got to give our, you know, everyone type, uh, lucky in the chat. Give us some luck. Fortune. We need fortune right now. Uh, shiny Charizard V max. Wow. Toe division. That's a, that's a big pull right there. All right. Who said it? Who said secret rare? Because we pulled it. Uh, we pulled it. Um, and now we have to give five. We're giving away five now, I guess. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know how we're going to do this giveaway either, now that I think about it. We might have to do it by Discord. Are you guys in the Discord server? I might have to post the link to the Discord server so we can do the giveaway in the Discord server. Because we have five uh, rainbow supporters to give away. Hashtag luck train. Let's go, guys. Let's go, chat. I appreciate the luck. Uh, it worked, actually. It worked almost instantly, uh, to be 100% honest with you. Um, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it, guys. You guys are the best. All right. Uh, all right. We got five left. Six left, I think. This After this, we have five left. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see exactly what we can get out of these bad boys here. Another cell BV. So that's a one extra. Uh, Zebstrika. Yeah, guys, so let me know. Um, am I going to use a giveaway bot? Yeah, I'll probably use giveaway bot, or I'll just do a random number generator. Uh, an extra Tornadus VMAX, nice. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably have to do the giveaway in the Discord server just to make it uh, a little bit easier to run the giveaway, because uh, we're going to pick five uh, winners. Uh, well, that's me out if you do Discord Dark Fable. I just don't have really any other way to do it, I guess. That's the problem. Like, that's the, you know what I mean? Like, we can't really, like, do a giveaway through the YouTube chat, too, like, too easily, which is why it's, like, a bit difficult. Uh, so I do apologize. Do you guys have Twitter? Would Twitter be better than, uh... oh, that's it. We're done. We finished. Well, that was it, guys. All right, anyway. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's go over the polls. Let's go over the polls. Sorry, that was a very anticlimactic ending. I didn't even notice. Uh, let's let's go over the the rares that we pulled, um, and kind of see the pieces that we have that we're gonna have to fill in the gaps, which we'll do off we'll do later, we'll do off stream later, um, and all the extra stuff I will mark for trade. Uh, is my friends list full? It might be. Actually, I don't know if it is. Uh, if you guys want to send me a trade, um, if you guys want to offer a trade to me at all, I'll mark everything for trade. And my my username is Tate ninety eight. Um, so I'll just type that in chat. There you go. So that's my PTCGO username. If you guys want to go ahead and just offer me trades, I'm going to mark all the extras for trades. So, um, we got some Celebes. We got to get more VMAXs there. And we need a couple more Blazikins. Uh, we have one Volcano we can trade away. Um, we have one Shadow Rider we can trade. Uh, we have, what is it? Three Ice Riders we can trade. Four is Aurora's. We have a lot of extra stuff here, guys. All of this stuff is uh, we have we have plenty of extras uh, for us to trade away. Uh, so we will most definitely be doing that. Um, eight Moltres. Wow. Uh, we can trade some of these bad boys. Trade one of them. 
We have Blissey's for trade, Tornadus for trade, uh, Tornadus VMAX for trade. Um, yeah, and, and, and I'll trade these full arts as well. So if you guys want to um, trade up for some of these full art cards, uh, go right ahead. I'm going to keep the Rapidashes, though. We're not going to mark that. Um, Zapdos will mark his trade. Slowking, we can mark his trade. Um, and Metagross, yeah, we'll, we'll mark the Metagrosses. Blissies, uh, they're locked, unfortunately. Um, yeah, okay. Anyway, let me look. Uh, not fast, dude, just saying. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, Discord's better, Discord's easier to think. Okay, Discord, okay, cool. Uh, Evan, what's going on, Evan? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, let's check what we're missing, too. Yeah, so this is, uh, the, I mean, that's all the, the pulls that we have. Anything that we're missing, we're just going to be able to trade up and get whatever we need. So no uh, worries about that. I'm going to accept these uh, trades. So you guys can go ahead. And uh, like I said, use that link. Go to ptcgoprices.com. Uh, get an idea of how much things are worth. Um, and uh, that's going to be how I'll be uh, at least accepting trades or how I'll be determining whether or not I'm going to accept the trades as if they're close to the actual market value. Um, uh, so, yeah, we can get into that. Has anyone offered any trades yet? I'm not going to stay here for too, too long. So we'll probably be here for about another 10 minutes. So if you guys want to go ahead and offer your trades, I'm um, accepting Chilling Rain's packs, um, which I'm, I'm cool with that. Uh, but anyways, that's, uh, you know, that's the that's the deal here. Blaze got offered a trade. Let's see what he was wanting here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tune into PTCGO prices. Uh, so we'll get a good idea. Okay, so the trades are coming in. Uh, so Calyrex V, and I think that's correct as well. Let me just let me just check. Uh, seven to thirteen, yeah. So ten packs. We'll we'll accept this guy. Uh, so we can trade three Calyrex Vs, potentially. Um, can you click the chat? Uh, click the two arrows. The Ice Rider. You mean um. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, Ice Rider VMAX uh, is secret rare? Um, no. Uh, all the way at the bottom, there will be uh, something called trading posts, so you don't need to be friends. What? What? You mean this right here? I don't know how to do the the, the training pose thing. Honestly, I you just send me a friend request. It's, it's I don't so that way I don't have to figure out. It's Maddie T ninety eight his username. All right, what do we got here? Uh, Zororo. So what is Zororo going for? Uh, it's going for four or three. Uh, so three, yeah, uh, that's fine. I'm fine with that. That's cool. Um, so are we thinking it's Aurora with Blaziken or with or without or without uh, with or without Urshifu? Also room for Passimian in there. Yeah. So it, it, uh, Ricky, there's a lot of room. Like again, you know, you we really just kind of have to figure it out. Um, <laughs> real human person. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and re reject that trade. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, what's going on, Evan? I don't know, Ricky. Yeah, that's a, that's a good uh, good question. Realistically. Um, food, do, uh, food dog, a uh, food dog god. Um, we're actually just we're only going to accept um packs, chilling rains packs. Um, again, I this might be a fair trade. I really have no idea, but I'm just not looking uh, for anything personally uh, other than chilling rains packs for any of the, the the cards that we opened. Oh, Passimian, you want Passimian for trade? Um, I I don't I'm not going to trade away anything that's not like a V or a V Max just because. Um, uh, you know, because I'm going to keep it in case, uh, I have some friends that need some play sets of stuff. Uh, so I'm going to keep that. However, we do have some gold trainer cards, which I'm going to mark for trade in case you guys are interested in any of those, uh, secret rare trainers or, and whatnot. Um, we have a lot of full art supporters as well. So I'm going to mark these for trade. If you guys want to, um, you know, if you guys want to, you know, try to scoop some of these up. Uh, these are going for the giveaway, so we can mark the Echoing Horn, uh, Rugged Helmet, and Welcoming Lantern. These are all cards that I will also mark for trade. Can I send a trade for two more Zororas? You can just send send all the trades that you want. 
Um, I'll accept them if if you know they're, they're they're reasonable trades, and as long as they're four chilling rains packs, pretty much. Um, so you can you can offer as many as you want. Uh, eight for full art rapidash. Um, rapid rapidash. So what is this going for? Uh, it's going for. So this is eight for one. Um, yeah. Um, oh, that's the one I'm sending out. Sorry, that's my bad. I'm a ding dong. My bad. Sent requests. All right. Yeah, I think I accepted your guys' requests. Ricky, yeah, no problem, man. The Simeon is cheap, though. Uh, so I think I'll be able to buy it. Yeah, yeah, you, you should be able to buy it. Yeah, no problem. I just, I don't want to trade away some of the, the cards I have more of because it's good for giveaway stuff and it's also good to help out some of my friends who need need, need the cards. Uh, where do you find market price online? Uh, use this link if you're looking for the market price. Um, pretty much. That's uh, that's how that goes. Could I trade a card for a card? I'm only accepting Chilling Rain's packs uh, for the cards, personally, just to make my life a little bit easier, uh, personally. Um, unless it's a card that I need, per se. Like, if it's... If you have either, like, Blaziken VMAX or uh, Santaconda VMAX or Galarian Sloking... Uh, those that's all stuff that I you know that I might accept. Uh, two for six. Um, yeah, I mean I have extras. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Cool. Anti says go to work, bro. It's six fifteen. I'm not working right now. Uh, what's my nickname in game? Let me post that again. Username. My username is Maddie Tate ninety eight. Um. Did we finish all of the packs? Yeah, so we, we did. We did finish all the packs. Um, we've opened those up so far. Now we're just kind of trading away the extras for people if they have things that they want to trade. I'm going to stick around for probably like five more minutes or so. Um, you know, just, just about that much time. And then uh, we're probably going to bounce out of here. Uh, we're going to bounce on out of here. And you guys can send trades, uh, you know, while I'm offline as well. I'll be, I'll be keeping an eye on it. So, um, Hex Guardian is giving me two Galarian Slowking V Maxes. Crollo, is this real? Excuse me, Crollo. Sir Koopa, yeah, no problem, man. Um, uh, uh, Crollo, you're gonna send me two Galarian Slowkings, and you want a Water Energy. Um, I don't know if you're in chat, Crollo. If you are, uh, let me know. How are you excited to be? Uh, how excited are you going to be? Able, uh, are you to be playing in Players Cup for this weekend, Logan? I'm very excited. I'm very excited. You know, um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Uh, Luke Metal was busted. It got me there. So I'm a little bit sad that I probably will not be playing Luke Metal for Players Cup. Uh, but I know that that's probably not the best decision. Uh, Yesh. Yesh. Yesh, Carilla. What is this one here? Oof. Okay. All right. Now I would I maybe would have just accepted this trade if Crollo hadn't sent me the uh, the Sloking Vmax. Uh, I will, uh, however, if you want to, okay, let's. I'm gonna modify this one. All right, um, I'm gonna modify this. So I'm gonna keep the Shadow Rider, um, and we're just gonna go one for one Shadow Rider Blaziken. Now this isn't uh, a fair trade on my end. Uh, one of these is definitely worth more than the other, uh, but again. You know, I don't, I don't really mind. I'm not about making money uh, or making profit. I'm just about getting all the cards that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and send him this trade. Um, did that counter offer work? Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. Um, you guys are probably like, what are you doing uh, with that? But uh, yeah, I mean, that's how we, that's how we roll over here. That's how we are rolling. Trade is complete. All right. Um, how many Blissey V do you have? I do have some Blissies. I, I definitely have some Blissies. Um, let me look. So do we have... All right, yeah, we need one more Blaziken V if anyone's got a V. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to send it to me. Uh, so we have two extra Blissey Vs that I can trade. Uh, we also have... Um, yeah, so we have two Blissey Vs um, that, uh, that are for trade. Uh, chat babies. Evan, I am back. What's up, Evan? Reyna. Yeah, no problem, Reyna. 100%. Um, Maddie, I'm going to send you a busted Ice Rider list. If it doesn't run Frostlass, I don't want to run it. 
just gonna let you know um i'm, I'm going to run frost last in my ice rider list at least for this first bit because that's just a new card and it seems really fun i want to play it how many packs uh is a shadow rider calyrax v max let me look uh it goes for about 18 18 or 19 chilling rains packs right now um so there you go uh oh let's go uh let's go blaze god this is exactly what i'm talking about thank you so much i really do appreciate that perfect uh did i miss the giveaway uh matthias no we're gonna be doing the giveaway in the discord server uh because it's easier that way uh just 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 to let you guys know um two i only have i can't give two anymore um I cannot give two anymore. Uh, I do apologize. Uh, we only have we just we just set that other trade, so I only have one uh, left to uh, to trade. Unfortunately, uh, I'm sorry. You can resend it if you want for one. I'll trade you one, but um, Ice Rider, <laughs> uh, Isaiah. It does. It does run Frost Lass. Uh, did I say Frost Moth before? I want Frost Lass. Frost Lass and, uh, and Ice Rider. So, as long as your list has Frost Lass, send it over, man. I'm 100% down. Uh, Welcoming Lantern. All right, let's see how much Welcoming Lantern goes for. Welcoming Lantern. Uh, there haven't been many uh, sales for it. Uh, no one has bought Welcoming Lantern. Um, and somebody is selling it for 20 uh, I think 4 is honestly fine, and I don't really care. So, there you go. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, what's this one? One for one. There we go. Perfect. Sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Rohan. Yeah, yeah. I, I want Frost last. The new Frost last. Uh, can you please say uh, trade the set of Cast Form for two Battle Styles packs, uh, Saya? Um, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna. I'm not trading anything other than just the V and V Max or, or the, the 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 rare pulls, the hyper rare pulls. So, I apologize. I, I do. Um, I need to keep them for a variety of other reasons. So. Uh, do I have a Charizard? Um, probably. Yeah, I probably do. I don't know if it's tradable, though. Volcanion for Sandaconda. Um, I don't... Um, I mean, I can make this trade, I guess, but I don't need Sandacondas. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll accept it, because I can, I guess, but... I assume you made that trade because you needed Volcanion, so I'm just going to accept that. Um, all right couple more minutes guys and then i'm gonna end the stream we're gonna end the stream and uh you guys can keep sending trades do whatever you know whatever you want to do uh but i gotta get out of here i got some stuff i need to get done uh so anyway uh last call last call for trades i'll accept this guy's friend request and um yeah all right all right all right guys we are uh, we're gonna get out of here it's been a great stream thank you guys so much for tuning in i really do appreciate it um and uh, again, yeah, stay tuned. So GG Tour Tournament, $500 cash is uh, coming up this uh, this weekend. So go register for that. Um, and uh, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned because we are going to be posting deck lists videos uh, for all the new archetypes and all the new cards here in the next few days. And then Chill Series number 36 with Chilling pain, uh, chilling Rains packs uh, on the pri in the prize pool is going to be um, is going to be on Wednesday. So be ready for that. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we'll see you guys soon. All right. I'm getting out of here.